Coaches, if you're looking to build a healthy competitive culture, if you want to develop competitive athletes, the competitive cauldron is the most effective system out there. So for coaches today, building a competitive culture is more challenging than ever for many reasons. You probably find the natural competitor, that athlete that just wants to compete in everything they do, to be rarer than ever. Now, some of this comes down to many players have this unrealistic view of their ability and their performance, right? They and their parents think they are better than they really are, that they're good enough right where they're at. But often it's the effects of social media and just the growing popularity of sports that has players afraid to compete because giving their best and losing is failing and they don't want to be viewed as a failure. In many cultures, it's uncool to go all out. I think many of us coaches have also had those players that feel they don't have to compete in practice. They just have to be able to show up on game day and play then. So they feel entitled to their playing time. For us coaches, it's tiring having to use carrots and sticks to get our players to play hard at the game they say they love and that they want to be good at. Also, the culture that we are raising kids in now defines competition the wrong way. It's so much about competing is being seen as being better than someone else rather than just striving to be your best. And that same culture has not equipped kids to handle losing and winning with class and an ability to continue to focus on the process regardless of the outcome. So what's the competitive cauldron? The competitive cauldron is a simple system that's going to help you to objectively track and rank your player's practice performance. The result is that players are going to be more engaged in practices as every segment of the practice can now have greater meaning and significance. It increases competition when the players know their performance is being measured and score is being kept. And lastly, you're gathering objective data and that data can then be used to increase their buy-in to their role. Not just their buy-in, but their parents' buy-in as well. Now this training is going to help you to design and implement the cauldron within your program. First, we will cover five essential steps to implement in every program and a few other variables to consider. This is important because when the cauldron is not implemented properly, it can create unhealthy competition and be divisive instead of cohesive in your team's culture. After I walk you through those five steps and those other variables, I'm going to walk you through how to use this competitive cauldron spreadsheet to track each player's win percentage and rank throughout the season. At the end of the training, I will give you instructions on how to obtain this Google Sheet for every team in your program and give access to your entire coaching staff. This cauldron has helped transform over 50 programs at the youth, high school, and collegiate level in sports like basketball, hockey, soccer, American football, and volleyball. The training in cauldron comes with a 100% money back guarantee. If you want to build a competitive culture in your program, first, watch this training. Don't worry about taking lots of notes. You're going to get access to some PDFs with all the details as well. Secondly, set up your spreadsheet for your program. I can't emphasize this enough. It's very, very simple. You don't need to know how to use a spreadsheet at all because I still don't know how to. Thirdly, all you have to do is just start tracking your practices. Even in the off season, this can be very, very effective and a great way to get started. To save 10%, just click on the link in the details of this video to head on over to coachtube.com where you can purchase the course and all the additional resources.